Hello everyone and welcome to Grid Rule. In this video, we are going to learn how to create image cards that expand on hover in Webflow. This effect is built entirely in Webflow without any custom code. In fact, I haven't used any Webflow interactions as well for this effect. We'll be building this entirely using some very basic CSS properties. That being said, let's get started. In Webflow, I have built a basic structure for my page where I have a page wrapper and a main content wrapper. Let's add a div element and name it Section Home Hero. We'll be adding another div inside this and let's give it a class name Image Card Wrapper. On this class, I will set the display property to flex horizontal. We'll also set a gap of 1 rem between rows and columns. Lastly, let's set a height of 25 rem on this div to define how tall our image cards are going to be. Now, insert a new div element inside the Image Card Wrapper and let's give it a class name Image Card Item. Now, we'll add an image element inside this div and give it a class name Image. Select the image class and set its width and height to 100% and also set the image fit to cover. That's all the styling we need to apply to our image class. Now select the image card item class and under the flex style option set the flex grow and shrink to 1. Also make sure the flex basis property is set to 0. I'm going to give a border radius of 16 pixels to our card and add a border of 3 pixels. Let's also add some box shadow to give our image a bit more style. You'll notice the image is bleeding out of the borders we just added. To fix that, scroll up and set the overflow of this class to hidden. Finally, scroll down to the transition settings and set a transition duration of 500 milliseconds for all properties. Now, I'll quickly duplicate this div to add more images to our layout. Once we've done this, we'll switch over to the hover state of this class and set the flex basis to 30%. What we're doing here is we're setting the initial size of our flex item. And we're setting this in the hover state to get our desired expanding card effect. So now, if we switch back to the default state and hover over the image items, you'll see them expand to the size we've set. You can set the flex basis to any value such as 50% or 60% depending on how many images you have in your layout. The expanding card effect also works on all breakpoints. On mobile devices, the cards would expand when you click on them. If you have a lot of images in your layout as I do, you can adjust the layout for mobile devices by setting a custom width to your items for smaller breakpoints. Or you can simply hide some of the images by creating a new class name disabled and setting its display to none. This way, you can hide some of the images in your layout so it looks beautiful on smaller breakpoints as well. So that's how you can create an expanding cards effect in Webflow without using any interactions. I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did, please let me know what else you'd like to see. Until then, keep learning, keep designing.